Hey guys, so this is just going to be another installation guide for the new Fish Soul 1.6 update. I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys this one because for the past few weeks I've been working really hard to push out this update, make sure it's stable for everybody, which means you no longer need VIP for the macro anymore, we've got multiple pathing options. I've been working on a bunch more fail safes, so it's easier to use without it breaking overnight, you don't have to worry about that. I'll throw some timestamps on the screen so you can skip forward to any part of the video you want and you know I'll probably go over all the features. It is a little bit confusing because there are a lot of buttons that got added in the update and hope you enjoy. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to autohockey.com. I'll have this in the description and my discord server where you can ask any questions about the macro, if you need any help setting it up, anything like that. Now what you want to do is click download. You want to download version 1.1, not 2.0. It's very important you download version 1.1. Now you want to click save. You want to click this little folder over here. This will take you to your download folder. Now you want to double click it. It'll come up with a little pop-up. Click yes. And since I already have it installed, uh, this top button will say repair. But if you don't already, this button will say install. So all you want to do is click that, cross it off, and you're all good. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to my GitHub page. Link will be in the description and Discord server once again. And then you want to make your way down to releases. This should say 1.6, but I'm actually going to update this after I've made the video just to make it a bit easier for myself. And then you want to click fishsoul.zip. Click save. Go to this little file once again. Just take you to your downloads folder. You want to right click, click extract all, extract once again. And, you know, since I haven't updated it yet, as I just said, I'll swap it out with 1.6. And this is the current GUI. It may look a bit confusing to some people. I promise you it's nothing to stress about. It's very easy to use once you know um, what you're doing. And I'll explain all of it to you right now. All right, so now that we've finished downloading everything, I can finally tell you how all these confusing buttons work. So, I'll go back to the macro. Say I wanted to catch, let's just say 50 fish before I walk back from spawn to sell all my fish. I put in 50 here, and what it would do is it would catch 50 fish before resetting back to spawn, walking up here, selling your fish, and re going back to here. Now, if you do have a number like 50, I would toggle sell all on and change this to 22 because there's only 22 fish in the game. Now, depending on how laggy your device may be, I'd maybe set this to 23 or 24, just in case if you get a little lag spike while selling your fish. Now, pathing modes, this one's pretty straightforward. So, VIP pathing is what Fish Soul 1.5 was originally locked on. So, if you wanted to run the macro, you couldn't actually do it without VIP. Now, this changes because we got a non VIP pathing and an abyssal pathing. This one's my personal favorite, but I'll get to that one later. So, non VIP pathing. It's pretty straightforward, you know, it's the same, you walk to the same places, just a bit slower, with, um, without VIP speed buff. Now, Abyssal Parking, this one is definitely my favourite, because what it does, you reset its spawn, it searches uh, Abyssal Hunter, clicks on it, if you already have it equipped, it won't click this button again, so after it clicks this one, it'll see that it's red if it's equipped, and it'll cross out. And it'll walk forward a little bit more and have its little fail save in this corner instead of this corner. It'll walk up from the side, go forward, jump up, sell the fish and go walking back. Now it does take a few seconds for it to actually equip a Bristle Hunter and detect everything, but it is definitely worth the extra speed buff. Now some people have also told me that when they go to fish this menu is also in the way and the old version didn't have a failsafe to click this button. So now it does, it clicks this button over here. Sometimes you get a bugged menu, it clicks that button over there to cross it off. And it also has a third one just in case if it um, clicked it a little bit too fast when you caught a fish regularly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how all of it works, you know, give it a little time lapse, show you me changing all the numbers around, playing around with the pathing options, and yeah, hope you enjoy.
guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see anything changed or added. Um, also, I forgot to add um, during the video that try to keep your fish loops at least below 50. I've seen some glitches go around where if they stack them up and you know max them out to their storage, that souls kind of just breaks the fishing minigame. So when you click it, it bugs and just keeps it on the exit. You can't unclick it. Um, you can't catch a fish. The only way to fix it is by relogging. So be mindful of that. Also, I will be fixing this in a future update. Don't you worry. Like I said before, please tell me if you want anything to be added or changed or whatever you'd like. And I'll catch you guys in the next update. See ya.